Good morning inside of all the students. I welcome you all children. As you all know that till now in drawing class, we have learned two vegetables and one fruit shading in oil pastel color. So in our today's class, we are going to learn one more fruit shading. So let's start. After making rough sketch, first I am using dark brown for outline. Now after this, one by one, I will use red, pink and scarlet color. With these three colors, first we are going to complete base. While we are coloring the base, at the same time we have to color the outline. Now after doing the base, we will first mix them. Now here I am using white color. Now after using white color, I am going to mix white and red color slightly with each other. Now with the help of maroon color, I will start showing darkness. Now here, to show shine in watermelon slice, I am using white color. Now again I am using maroon color. Now to show green color, I am going to use Persian green, sap green and light green. Now I am going to mix it.
Now after applying these colors mix them properly. Same like red and white. I am mixing white and green color slightly with each other. Now to show detailing I am using maroon color. While coloring keep in mind that the color is not too thick. Now with white color we will show a little shine in between. Now for shades I am using dark brown, black and maroon color. To show more dark shade in watermelon, we will apply one more layer of maroon color. Now same like this, we will start coloring second slice. Now after doing the base, with the help of maroon color, we will start showing darkness. Now again for seeds we are going to use black, dark brown and maroon color. For more detailing, I am using maroon and scarlet color.
Now after shading in both slices our fruit shading is complete. To make a ribbon flower first we will take a ribbon of 60 cm and then we will cut the ribbon into 5 equal parts. After cutting the ribbon now we will take two pieces of ribbon and place it on top of each other like this and now with the help of needle and thread we will hand stitch it. Children be careful while using needle or you can take help from your elders. After stitching both sides, it will look like this. Now put the third ribbon under the second ribbon like this and stitch it. Now after you join the second and third ribbon pieces together, we will add all the pieces in same way. Now that we have added all pieces of ribbon together, it will look something like this. Now we will pull this thread slowly and take care that this thread does not break. Now set the ribbon leaving the thread slightly lighter. After setting the flower, we will now close the thread by tying it. After making the flower ribbon, I am using the stone sticker for decoration. 